All right, welcome back to another Guild Wars 1 Factions playthrough episode. We finished off by getting to Arborstone, and we could attempt this mission right now, but I actually want to do something a little different. I want to go back to Matu Keep and pay a little visit to our friend where we captured Assassin's Promise, because I kind of feel like doing a unconventional farming today because he spawns so close to Matu Keep. Typically you want to have like a solo build uh, and then figure out the skill bars to try and beat him by yourself so that you can get the green drop rate. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to change my build. I'm going to be using our old... I want to build that I feel like will be able to 1v1 him. And for that, we're going to go Illusion and Fast Casting. Should be good. And we're going to go Illusionary Weaponry here. And I'm going to 1v1 him, and I'll show you how I do it. Theoretically, this should work. And if it doesn't work, it's uh it's just not gonna work so we'll see uh i might also yeah this should be good i need i need some healing skills actually so i'm gonna have to go ether feast for this and i might need to have a way to remove an enchantment because that's his way of healing honestly this is pretty much all we need but i i'm gonna bring some I'm going to bring some more illusion skills so that I can get the armor bonus. We need as many as possible. And this one just in case I need to block. Oh, no, no, no. I need blurry. There we go. All right, so I'm going to bring a whole team of, of henchmen. And you might be thinking, are you crazy? How are you supposed to beat him? Or how are you supposed to, supposed to farm with a full group of enemies? And it's going to be very simple. Let me show you. We come out here. Theoretically. I'm like, I'm I'm talking all this game on the way out. To see, like I know what I'm doing. Uh, but the idea is we're going to come up here. We're going to defeat all the mobs that are patrolling around him. And then I'll fill you in on the rest of the plan. And we make it happen. Oh, that was a ton of damage. Jeez. The the clumsiness plus illusionary weaponry spike. Gosh, it just melts him. Let's take out these guys. If I use empathy on these guys and they use triple triple chop or whatever, does it trigger empathy three times? That's an interesting thing. I didn't notice it before I was running empathy. We want to take out all of the ads. We're ad blockers right now. No enchantment for you. No thank you. Oh, he got Dragon Stomp off. It's too bad. Okay, now we need to be careful because we're getting... That's the boss right there. And he has adds that appear when we engage him in combat. So I need to try and figure out if I can defeat the adds. If I can defeat the adds without defeating him. So it's going to be tricky. I'm going to need to ping off my... Flag off my um, uh, teammates. And then try and pull them out. So I'm going to stay right back here. And I 
got a bow somewhere. Did I sell my bow? I think I accidentally sold my long bow. That's too bad. Short bow might have to work, but I think the short bow has the same might have the same range as the staff. I'm not sure. Zhu Zhu Cow. That's his name. All right. Oh, nice. They appear. They appear without aggroing him. And I think it's just these four, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. No, come back here. Alright, I might have to fight them by myself. As long as I have a healer, I should be able to outdamage them. Yeah, they don't really have any self-healing. Yeah, they're like trying to run away from me. I just do too much damage. You're not going to do much to me. I'm sorry. All right. There might be a few more ads, though. I feel like there's going to be a couple assassins drop. Kind of time consuming actually. This is much slower than I expected. Okay. So now the question is can I solo him? Oh, is he coming after me? What's he doing? Alright, let me send them all the way back over there. They can go do their own thing. All right, it's just you and me now. He is a Umfa trained assassin. Meanwhile, Roger here, he trained his fighting on the stage as an actor. And we'll see whose fighting style will prevail. <laughs> okay, now that the intro is done. So I'm going to cast... This is only 10 seconds. I think I just I should just engage the fight. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Let's do it. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, I got him. Oh, he hurts. Oh, I don't know if I can beat him. Oh, uh, I need some blocking skills. Oh man, I was for sure I would be able to beat him. Oof. Yikes. Oh, you got me. Alright, first attempt failed. I'm not giving up yet. Alright, what can I do? I need some sort of blocking skills. So I'm gonna go... Do I have physical resistance? Hmm. Maybe I should actually go ineptitude. Yeah. I should just go ineptitude. I think that'll I think that'll that'll beat him. So we'll go full illusion. We'll go ineptitude and uh, um, empathy, as of what I was talking about. That should be fine, actually. We got three heal skills. Yeah, I'm pretty sure ineptitude and empathy alone, plus clumsiness working in there. I don't think sympathetic visage worked too well. Because he just hits too hard. So instead of that, I'm going to make sure I have ways to get energy. I'm going to get energy tap too. Illusion of haste I don't really need. Stance could work. If I had physical resistance, that would be awesome. But I do not. Maybe... I 
Shatter Hex, Wishful Glory, no. I mean, yeah, the the Assassin's Promise is not doing much to us, actually. This should be enough, honestly. If I get desperate, I'll put on Distortion. How about that? All right, let's try it again. Take two. I'm pretty sure empathy, or Ineptitude should totally counter him. Because if he's blind, he that's his only way of dealing damage is by attacking. And if he's blind, I'm not going to be taking any damage. And I can... I can maintain it indefinitely because it lasts 10 seconds. Oh, I can't. Should be fine though. Because if he's attacking me during that time. Oh, <laughs> it is set my. Hold on. It is set my domination skills. So I don't need that much fast casting. Domination 37, that's not bad. Let's try this. Let's try that. Illusion of weakness. If I get down, that should buy me time to beat him. I mean, I was pretty close that last time. And I took out the ads pretty easily. Without aggroing him. So it's not the it's not the longest like the craziest uh setup for a farm actually there's there's much longer ones out there okay he didn't even get one hit off ineptitude is quite an expensive skill with 10 energy we should be okay. Oh, I couldn't get the energy tap off. I think I need to take out that patrolling key in. Good interrupts, good interrupts, everyone. I mean, this will also make him do 10 less damage per attack. We'll see if that's enough. I need to be sure to drain his healing skill, too. Man, 142 damage plus, yeah, that's like, with these three skills together, that's kind of a lot of skills, a lot of damage. Should be able to spike him down. Alright, let's aggro. Aggro check. It's four of these guys. Yeah, distortion's pretty nice. I just tested it out there. You can kind of see whenever I drain, when I get drains minus two, that means I block an attack. Okay, let's heal up. Take two. Send these guys off. Okay, can I do it? Can I do it? So what's the plan? I have illusion of weakness. Oh, I should do it now while the spirit's up. No thinking. Oh, spike trap goblin. Shoot. 
Okay, so I got the spirit up. Why didn't all the ineptitude wore off? Come on, ineptitude. Come on, drain enchantment. Ineptitude again. Ah, uh, it's this stupid healing skill. Oh, I almost got him. I almost got him. No. Yeah. Okay, it works. He dropped three items. None of them were the item we want. Okay, that was take two. So it does work. It does work. Takes three. I'll speed this one up. Okay, take three. Going down, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Kill me. Oh, I guess it's fine. I'm not going to have the Spirit of Union for this fight, though. Should be fine. Heal up. What are those guys? Oh, their healers are here. Dang it. Nice, I can I can uh lure them out this way. Okay. Now go back. Go far away. We have the spirits out now. This is gonna be perfect. Oh, 
Oh, this is way smoother. And that's it. Oh, no daggers though. Okay. Take four. <laughs> Oh, triple strike! Triple strike does. It's per attack on nearby enemy. It spikes empathy, so empathy totally counters triple strike. Just make sure. I think there's enemies might spawn. Yeah, they do spawn. All right. Gonna run away. Was well, he just gonna stay there? No. Darn, I can't really get them out. Let's just try and take them, take out the ads only. No, don't kill him. Okay. Take these guys out now. Now let's take out only the healer somehow. be able to take out the heat. Should be able to take out both of them. Uh, 
Now it's your turn. Oh yeah! Got him! Yes! <laughs> excellent, excellent. That was awesome. Daggers of Zhu Tao. Yes! That was just my fourth or fifth attempt? I already lost count. Oh man, so good. All right, so that's how you farm, uh, farm the noob, the noob proof way to farm grains in Guild Wars 1. That's pretty successful. Yeah. Look at that. Now we can run illusionary weaponry daggers for the next mission. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll be, uh, moving on from here to Arbor Stone, so... I'll catch you guys later. Peace.